Hi everyone, Linda here. I started an art book, art journal page in an old book of mine, and I just wanted to share it with you. I started with some blue watercolor at the top. I, I lost the first part of the video, so I don't know what it is, but anyway, I started with some um, watercolor at the top and then distress paint at the bottom. I created some little wonky houses. Now um, I'm just putting on a willow tree. It's one of the die cuts that I got at Tuesday morning. I either got it or Myra sent it to me in the prize. And I'm just layering it. I cut it out of book text and I'm just being careful with the uh, Mod Podge. So I'm putting that on the page. I uh, use some Viva Decor um, 3D paint to do the stars and um, the blue paint was from Dick Blick. So I think that's all I need to tell you at this point. I have to be careful with the sentiment because I printed it on my um, printer and I can't remember. I think the Maj Posh is probably going to make it run, so I'll just have to be careful. See, the Maj Posh kind of picks up the, the watercolor. That's okay. I don't mind if this gets a little colored. It's a little bright. There. I, I kind of like that blue going into that. That looks good. And this I got from a stamp and um, oh, some of the cards that I got when Gary passed away had this on it. But the first time I saw this was a friend of mine who's, who lost her son in a car accident. He was, it was just very sad. It's always sad, but, and it gave her a lot of comfort. and. It made so much sense to me that it would, and I just, I just, it's just one of my favorite thoughts about our loved ones who have passed. Some of this mulberry paper that maybe might be fun to use for grass. I just feel like these houses need a little something at the bottom. The edges are so rough, so. Okay, I've got some yellow out here for windows. So here I am just using some a glue stick to glue on windows and doors and add some detail to the houses. My camera really wasn't cooperating with me today. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun doing the page and I did a canvas and some cards based on the same art journal page. So I had a lot of fun windows, there'll be smoke, all kinds of fun things. Here's the page all done. Um, what I did is I took a distress marker and uh, this isn't the right color but like a, oh I know, 
gathered twigs one and went around the tree and kind of went over some of it and then extended the roots down here. And then um, I took a white pen, like a glitter pen, white gel pen, where is that? <laughs> this one, a jelly roll pen. And it has a little bit of glitter in it, I think. No, just a white gel pen. And, you know, went over the smoke a little bit more and did some doodles on the house. I did some, I don't think I did those doodles before. Um, I went around the sentiment with that. Uh, and I think that's about it. I, I may do more to it at another time, but right now I'm going to call that done. I really, really like it. So that is an art journal page of my book. See, well, it's been a long time. This page bled through, so I'll have to glue that together. That's a long time ago. This one I just don't think I even finished. And I think this one, I may have been thinking about that. I can't remember. This one, okay, there we go. Now we know how old it is. April or May 2014, so two years ago, and I was going to do a little doodle every day, but I didn't. I got to day 11. Mother's Day stopped me. <laughs> and then this was another one I did. So that's all I have in this art journal. This is one of those delusions ones. But every once in a while I think of something and I want to do it, and that's what I did. So thanks for watching, everybody. When I get the canvas done, I'll share that too. Bye.